this is Matt back here with Rage 22's Andy, and uh, we had a bit of a snafu there on our last video. Um, ran out of storage space on my, my cell phone, which is what I'm using to record this from the passenger seat of, of our car here. No, I'm not driving, so if you're my insurer, no worries, this isn't me driving. And the tire squeaking certainly is not me driving either, so this is Andy's insurance, not, not mine. <laughs> but, uh, I wanted to have one more discussion with you, Andy, before you know, we were so rudely cut off by, by my cell phone. Uh, race predictions overall. Um, I'm not as familiar with these cars as you are, obviously, but I think through talking to the guys and you know, watching the cars turn left, I've got a pretty good idea of who I think is going to be competitive. And, you know, I'll just bring up the short list. Obviously, Philip Morris is, is traditionally one of the guys to beat here. You know, Lee's really, really good. I, I got the impression from talking to Lee that he was kind of sandbagging all day. And that, you know, he talked about maybe his, he had a motor issue earlier in the day. He was still, at the time, second quickest in his grouping in practice after I chatted with him. Um, he's going to be a factor. Ben Rhodes had a real good run here last year. I think he's going to be in the conversation. Deke, I think that's a real good short list. Uh, obviously, those guys were probably going to be on your list, too. Who else are you looking at? After yesterday, I mean, like I said, I I've knew Chad Fenton would be good. I mean, obviously, you go to that Kingsport Langley feud. Those, the thing, those tracks are going on. You talk about lawnmowers and whatnot, but you've got, you know, Chad Fetchum, those four crates are, are fast. They're going to be fast. They've been fast all year. Uh, Chad won the Kingsport Championship on them. Uh, I mean, and Kingsport's a track that Lee Pulliam has been to several times and has not been able to win. So I think Chad Fetchum's going to be one of those guys. He's he's a wheel man. He'll be a factor. I'm confident in that. Uh I mean, like I said, I definitely got Ben Rhodes on my list for sure. Uh, I think Adam Long will be up there. I think he'll be up there and he'll be someone you have to deal with. Uh, Tommy Lemons Jr., he could be hit or miss, but uh, that's, one of the, that's one of those guys where he, see, he always seems to find his way in the thick of it. You got uh, Peyton Sells, that not really run that great here, but this should be a... a it could be a good race for him. He's had a lot of good races this year. He won a big race in uh, at Langley Speedway, which is a flat track. So it's uh, there, there's going to be some. I mean, there's going to be a lot of good cars. I think this is a this is a race where you got 20 to 25 cars that could easily win. You got some, you got a few people who could play the spoiler rule. BJ Mackey. He's been good out of he's run at he's won at Caraway this year in their big race. So you've got certainly guys like that who can play a spoiler role. And I think the big story is parody with the four crate entrance and whatnot. Uh, we're seeing a lot of surprises already and we might see a surprise in the race as well. So this is where it comes down to you know, putting your money on the line here, putting your mouth where your money is, so to say. I'm going to go ahead and make my prediction first. Uh, rookies first, as usual. Uh, this is not going to be a popular decision, and a lot of people can just say, oh, well, Matt doesn't know what he's talking about. He's only seen four late model stock races. And you know what? There's certainly an argument to be made there. But in those four races that I've seen, the guy to beat and the guy who had them all covered at four different tracks was Lee Pulliam. And so just based from what I've seen and talking to the guy this weekend, Lee is going to win the national championship, Martinsville, all in the same year. Which has never happened before. Which has never happened before, right? Make a little bit of history and tick off a lot of fans. Who do you got, Andy? I'm still liking Ben Rhodes. I'm liking Ben Rhodes and Chad Fetch from a lot today. It'd be hard for me to pick between those two. Uh... I'm never, I've never really been a fan of picking the, the favorite, you know, the popular favorite or whatnot, but I'm, I'm really liking Ben Rhodes for this one. I think that he's got this winning thing figured out. He just, he's been one of the hottest drivers in late model racing ever since he got his first win back in August at Kingsport. He then went to Hickory and Greenville and won races out there, so he runs well in these big races. I mean, 
But Ben Rhodes, you talk about a guy who should have won Daytona because either should have won that Daytona or should have won at Myrtle Beach because they didn't penalize Kyle Larson. And for that reason, he should have won at Myrtle Beach after a bump and run. But he, I mean, he should have won one of those two races. So he does good in these big races. So I'm really liking Ben Rhodes a lot. And I'm really liking Chad Bentram. I, he's he's just been rock solid all weekend. He's been fast the whole, the whole time. He was fast in testing. He was fast qualifying, obviously fast in practice. So I'd say those two are going to be tough to beat. The big drivers certainly come out from the big paydays, and today is certainly a big payday. So for those of you who uh, don't usually follow the late model coverage, late model stock cars, you can find us on race22.com. We're going to have live, comprehensive, in-depth coverage all day for Martinsville Speedway. We're going to provide you the sights, sounds, visuals, quotes, live play-by-play, -play, and you know anything you guys can ask for we're gonna have it covered you can interact with us live on the on the what, what do you guys call it? just the live coverage board right uh, you can ask us questions we, we can track down the answers for you uh, you need a picture we'll get that for you too uh, everything about the race is gonna be covered race22.com you can find me as usual on Twitter at Matt Weaver SBN all the links to the race we uh, posted up there today on Facebook Matt Weaver SBN um, so give us a follow. Exciting, uh, exciting race today. At race it's 22. Super, it, it's the Super Bowl for short track racing. Well, for us anyways. I know you have your <laughs> well derby. So well, we're we're you're still, about to you're about to the debate's gonna live on after today because you're finally going to get to see this one. There's there, there's a, a time and a place for snowball derby conversation. I'm certainly excited for that race, but today it's all about Martinsville. And I absolutely cannot wait to bring you guys the, the sights and sounds. Can't thank Race 22 enough for bringing me on board this weekend, and I've had an absolute blast so far. And so, you know, for Matt Weaver, Andy Marquis, uh, we're about 30 minutes away from Martinsville Speedway. This video will be posted once we get there, and we will talk to you once we get there. See ya.